It's beautiful, isn't it? Meteorologically speaking, this should be soft rime ice that is created by freezing fog when the wind is quite calm. There are other types, more dense or more crystallic, like hoarfrost that appears when the sky is clear. Not that it matters. The crystals are very pretty and elegant if you take a closer look. We got a few really wintry days, which was great. We always say this is how it should be in winter, but in our area it's usually not. So we are always happy when this happens and want to enjoy it. One, two, three! Oh my god! Oh my god. Ah. So of course, sledding it is. You get healthy movement by running up the hill and you are surrounded by the winter kingdom. Yay. Tired. God. <sighs> it's so calm and quiet in the forest. The sun is slowly setting, there is no wind, and fluffy snow works as a sound absorber. And even Tommy is in shock by all the beauty. Since we have a lot of snow, the birds need our help because they don't have anything to eat in this weather. So we returned this little cage <laughs> with uh, balls full of fat and seeds for the birds. And we've already seen a lot of them coming here. This is the second batch that we refilled. Yeah, and they love it. Yeah. <laughs> Last year we only used this cage when it was already getting warmer, right? Maybe in January we started? Yeah, something but like that. there was no frosty and snowy weather. Mm -hmm. So this is very great, ideal conditions. Yeah. The birds are suffering now, so they need this and they are very happy about it, yeah. I'm sure. <laughs> and I bought more balls than last year so we can refill it more often. Yeah, yeah. So hopefully they will love it here. <laughs> and this season we debuted this new bird feeder as an addition. It's for regular seeds without the fat in the form of the balls. And uh, we put it on our tree, I think, one week ago, and we came back now, and it's completely empty. Yeah. I was afraid the birds wouldn't find it, but they are smarter than mm -hmm. I give them credit for. <laughs> they are. Fortunately, we bought 10 kilograms of uh, seeds. It's a mixture of various seeds. So I think we should have enough for this season. <laughs> It looks delicious. <laughs> and it has four entry points, so you know four birds can eat from the thing at the same time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's effective. Yeah, it's a very nice restaurant. <laughs> or a buffet. All you can't eat buffet, I think. We decided to put this bird feeder in the garden. To cover a bigger area, so yeah. that all the birds wouldn't have to go to one place. We can't watch it from outside the window like we can the other one, but that's okay, we're not doing it for us. Exactly. Okay. Yay!
we also installed a couple more bird houses here in the garden which is close to the bird feeder just like two trees away so hopefully they will find it here as well and have a good life in our garden yes and this one is special tell us about the material i have no idea what it's made of but it's very sturdy and heavy mm -hmm. and we didn't have to put in any nails in the tree it's just hung on the branch so i like that <laughs> yeah i think it's some kind of concrete or something like that stone like something it should last for a very long time yeah and also the predator birds cannot get in mm -hmm. like into the wooden ones mm -hmm. here's one more this is also a new one this one is wooden uh, but it has this protective layer around the entrance so that's also against predators so they couldn't get in like bigger birds that feed on smaller birds mm -hmm. they are all quite similar i mean they are made for the similar kind of birds the smaller ones like tits in our area the great tit or the blue tit so i wanted to also buy bigger ones or ones with bigger entrance holes mm -hmm. but you know we're taking it slow so in spring maybe yeah or we'll see we have one more birdhouse here this one we already installed one year ago but it was at a different location but we moved it because this is more suitable yeah definitely yeah it actually fell off in the old location yeah yeah so that was not good <laughs> but nobody was in don't worry yeah and the last one is here so we have four birdhouses for now and in this one last spring we noticed that there was some hay in yeah, the yeah. entrance right yeah something was like it was there in the entrance so the birds were probably getting familiar with the birdhouse <laughs> checking it out and this spring they will move in i hope so it looked like they were starting to make a nest but nothing came out of it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so we'll see next yeah. season we have a big apple harvest and last year i remember a lot of you were suggesting that we should make apple cider and at first I didn't understand because here in the Czech Republic cider is an alcoholic drink but then we checked on the internet and it's what you call hard cider and we realized that apple cider is something we know from childhood mm -hmm. <laughs> so we bought a press, a small one and we would like to try making our own apple cider this year Yeah, It's even smaller than I thought but it's supposed to be just for a few liters or a few kilograms of apples and we didn't want to make a big amount. We just thought that every now and then, whenever we feel like it, we would make a glass for each of us or something like that. So we'll have to put it together first. That's always the hardest part for us. There are a lot of parts. <laughs> Look, guys. Yeah. But there are instructions, so we'll see. We'll try to follow them. This will be like IKEA. I hope so. <laughs> we figured that you have to have it full so that it would work uh, correctly yeah so we had to use quite a lot of apples which is nice because we have a lot of apples so we can get rid of them quickly but it took longer than we thought <laughs> but we're finally ready to try it for the first time so this right mm -hmm. and then this it's like a uh, Lego or something. Yeah. <laughs> and I guess now you just start circling. Yeah. So 
So it's going down. It's starting to push the apples down and the juice but should also start it's flowing. It's pulling the whole thing. <laughs> I hope it's fine. <laughs> so far no juice, no cider. Oh my god, this will be a disaster. I will have to add more apples here. Ah, I'm done. It I already hit this. The wall, yeah. Oh my god. So we have to add more apples? I think so. We don't get this part. Why is it done this way? Nothing is falling. Everything is ready, but no juice. You could add more woods or something to make it higher. Oh yeah. We can try that. We found these weights. We, here is another one for homemade dumbbells. And it fits perfectly. So it will add height. Mm -hmm. And we clean them, of course. And we clean them. So hopefully it's okay. We'll see. Much better. I hear the apples being crushed. Mm -hmm. I well, hear something too. Our apples seem to be waterless, <laughs> ciderless, <laughs> juiceless. And you will hit the wall again <laughs> soon. <laughs> oh my god. But it's starting, look. <gasps> oh my god. Wow. Yay! <laughs> so cool! Okay, honey, so it's flowing now a lot. Yay! We will have at least a glass before I get this. <laughs> we found another trick to get even more height. We changed the woods this way. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully they will hold. Hopefully. This was disappointing. <laughs> we had to move outdoors because we were destroying our table. <laughs> so we put it here on the concrete. And we used several kilograms of apples. Mm -hmm. And this is all we got. It's so pathetic. I thought there would be much more. I thought so too. And based on the reviews on the internet, I thought that there would be more. Everyone was happy with the product. Yeah, and they said that they used six kilograms of apples and they had two liters of cider. Mm -hmm. And we used, I think, the same amount and we have like, I don't know, two glasses or not even that, one glass maybe. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it's a waste of apples. Yeah. Maybe if you have tons and tons of apples and you don't know what to do with them, then it's good for you. But we don't have that many, we know what to do with them, we can dehydrate them. Yeah, so and that would be better because there is so much waste yeah. here. I'm going to do something with this, everything, I don't know, some cake or I don't know. But we still are going to drink this <laughs> because we need to taste it. There is also <laughs> pulp. <laughs> we put it in there. But that's yeah, healthy. <laughs> Okay, so honey, everyone wow. has one mug full of apple cider. That's amazing. We can do this three more times and we'll be out of apples. Mm, it's delicious. Yeah, okay. it is. It's sweet and very apple, apple-y. <laughs> <laughs> I like it, but I would like to have more from so many apples. Yeah, it's not worth it for us. Yeah. <laughs> Mm hmm I have to chew it. <laughs> you do chew cider, right? <laughs> you put all the pulp in mine, right? Yeah, the pulp was escaping, so I put it there and it's in your mug now. It's like grated apples in there. <laughs> but it's delicious, yeah? We thought it would be easier and we would get more, but no. I don't know if we will ever make it again. <laughs> yeah, this is not a success. 
Maybe some other year. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh I have pulp in my throat because I don't have any cider. But maybe next year we will not give any apples to our family members. Mm -hmm. We will make two bottles of cider instead. If you have a press at home and you've done this, then maybe you can tell us if our expectations were wrong, if this is the correct amount of cider that we should be able to get, or what? Yeah. What are we doing wrong? <laughs> yeah, we have no idea. <laughs> this is all the leftover pulp or leftover apples or something, leftovers. And I added a bit of water. I'm going to blend it. In the end, I made applesauce and I canned it. I learned how to can this year, so that's exciting. <laughs> uh -huh. You've canned so many things already. Yeah, various pepper sauces or I don't know, everything. <laughs> everything. Yeah, so these are the leftovers. That's great. We used everything in the end of the apples, so the cider was an interesting experiment, quite a disappointment, but in the end we used everything, so it's okay. Yeah, 20% was cider and 80% went into applesauce. <laughs> yes. So this happened at the end of autumn. We were then asking Tommy's dad, and he said that the apples should be crushed using apple grinder or crusher, not just cut into pieces. But that's not what the internet said, so who knows. After three years, we still don't have any beds, but we have our mattresses on the ground. Uh, but for Christmas, we bought these cool uh, bed linens and sheets, which are made of micro plush. Mm -hmm. And it's so soft and so nice to touch. I love it. <laughs> yeah, it's very cuddly. It's yeah. like plush toys, you know, uh -huh. plushies or stuffies. We found these terms on the internet. And I just want to be surrounded by this all the time. Yeah, it's amazing to be in bed with this. <laughs> yeah, it's even better than being in bed with Peter. <laughs> so uh, also an advantage is that when it's cold in bedroom, and here it's very cold because we don't use the radiator, so it's like seven degrees here. Mm -hmm. It's not cold to touch. So when you go to bed, you know, it's not a nightmare to lie in, but you just immediately hop in and you immediately start to get warm. Yeah. And I absolutely love the color. Look, violet is my favorite color. And uh, it's great. <laughs> Do you like my this? <laughs> Rope? <laughs> Rope. Amazing. I look like a wizard. Yes. <laughs> like some dark lord. <laughs> okay. Dark Vader. But that's something. not what we wanted to show you. But this is like you want to jump into bed right away. <laughs> we also bought a new dehumidifier because this house is so humid. It's very old and there is no hydro isolation. So it gets humid very fast and it's impossible to get rid of. So this is a little way to fight with it. Mm -hmm. It's quite powerful. And a cool thing is that you can start it through a smart app even remotely when you're not here. So I have an app on my phone and I can just uh, watch what the humidity is here. And when it's too humid, I can start it and, you know, it will do its magic and mm -hmm. decrease the humidity. Before we bought this, uh, we saw that when we're not here and when we don't open windows and stuff like that, it can get even to 86% of relative humidity, which is very high. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's supposed to be 50 to 60% in living room, for example. Uh, so this definitely helps, but it's not perfect, especially in winter. Because what we didn't realize is that this condensation dehumidifier works the best when it's warm inside. And when we're not here, we only keep the heating uh, at 7 or 8 degrees. And at that temperature, it almost doesn't work. It only 
can uh, move it from 86 to 80 or 79 percent or something like that so it still stays quite high but it's still better than nothing and when we are here and it uh, gets warmer then we run it and it works and it gets it down to for example 65 percent within a couple of hours it was funny that when we were in calgary it was so dry, the, the air was so dry there, they probably have the opposite problem. Like in my brother's house, there was like 30% humidity or something like yeah, that. Yeah, maybe even 20 or something. Yeah. <laughs> we would love to have that here. Well, it wouldn't be great for us, but it would be great for the house. Because when it's so humid here, uh, the walls get all moldy and it, like pieces start falling off. It gets quite ugly and you know that it's not healthy also to live in such environment. Yeah, here as well, for example. Yeah, right behind me. The moisture comes from the ground. Like, it's in the ground underneath the house. There is always some moisture in the ground. And it crawls slowly up the walls. And it's an infinite process, so there is no way to stop it. And in order to repair this, we would need to build completely new walls. Or there is a method when they put some metal sheets like very forcefully in the walls, but that can worsen the stability of the entire house. So it's a bit risky and it's also very expensive. So these old houses, it's better to tear them down the hydro isolation is missing and that's the problem. So this is uh, a nice way to fight with it, at least partially. It doesn't obviously fix the cause, but that would be very expensive. You would have to basically renovate the construction of this house and create new hydro isolation, which is not here. So the way it works is you set the humidity you want and it starts like uh, sucking in the air and uh, the air somehow condensates inside and it blows out dry air again. And you can set the humidity you want and it turns itself off. When it reaches that value, uh, plus you can uh, control it remotely as I said, so you can turn it on and turn it off whenever you want. And uh, this device, we bought a powerful bigger one it has 6 liter capacity here in the back. So here you can see we have water level somewhere here in the middle. So this is the 6 liter water container where the water from the air uh, is stored. And uh, we've been here for two days and this is how much water we got from the air. Wow, that's a lot of water. <laughs> that's a lot of water, yeah. So you can imagine how humid the air is here. Plus we add more humidity by cooking, baking, uh, washing uh, clothes and stuff like that. So this prevents it from getting even worse when we are here. And you might ask, why don't we just open our windows and change the air? That doesn't work in winter because the humidity is very high outside as well. It's absolutely better when it's frosty and the air is drier. Then you can lower the humidity by opening the windows and changing the air. But our usual winters are like 5 degrees Celsius, overcast, grey, foggy and that's totally not good for lowering the humidity inside of the house. So we, of course, open the windows at least once a day or even more times, but that doesn't help. It stays very high, the percentage. You know, we are still at around 70 or 80%. So yeah, that's our lovely house that we don't like very much. Hopefully the birds will have better conditions once they decide to move into their lovely new houses. Anyway, have a nice day guys, and we'll see you in another video. Bye!